Wow. So I never thought that I would say this, but low key, I missed hanging out with you guys. Um, yeah, back in the day, I used to be so insecure making videos, posting videos. I was just like not myself at all. And I think that um, that contributed to being a YouTuber, being a stressful experience for me. Um, and this time around, I'm kind of just like, fuck it, you know, just fuck it. <laughs> so um, I know it's been like three weeks since I last uploaded, but within those three weeks, I had made a weekly vlog for you guys that I still want to upload. Um, just have to get around to editing it. <clears throat> so plan on doing that before the year ends. Um, it's December 24th, so Merry Christmas Eve if you celebrate that. Um, but yeah, hoping to edit that the next few days, um, get that uploaded. I kind of realized that my routine, um, it's a weekly vlog. I don't, can't recall if I just said that or not, but, um, my weekly routine is like, kind of boring <laughs> because all I do is go to the gym, eat, go to work, mix, then go to sleep. That is like what I've been doing for the past few months. So, um, yeah. In other news, I'm back on social media. I don't think I've said this yet on my channel, but you can follow me on my Instagram at Tommy Phoenix. You can also follow me on my Twitter at Tommy Phoenix. Um, and if any of you guys are into music, if you make music, um, what was I going to say? Good one. I'm feeling so like all over the place. Um, this week um, but if you make music and you're interested in having your songs mixed by somebody you can hit me up we can talk about whether or not I'm a good fit for you um, and what I can provide for you as your mix engineer so um, yeah I just wanted to throw that out there um, uh, what else Oh, there's a lot going on. Honestly, there's a lot going on. Um, <clears throat> since the last time I saw you guys, I kind of had a um, financial thing happen where I was told that I would basically only had two two days of work left until mid January, and that was that was like how long was that? Two weeks ago, I found that out, and I was like, well what the fuck because I um obviously I'm paying rent you guys if you have seen my other videos you know that I'm paying rent and I feel that my rent is too high um slash my income is too low and too unstable so um I <clears throat> kind of made the decision to kind of just lean into what I feel like is right at this time and I am moving back into my parents house um I don't have much to say about it right now I am really just acting on instinct and my intuition that given the appropriate amount of time where I'm not spending $850 a month on rent like that sort of move can change my life. So I'm at the point in my life where that's where I need, that's what I need. I need a reset. I need a chance to build back my bank, but also make the proper investments to know that I'm set up so that I can be stable when I do decide to move out again and have that be the right decision because Honestly, I jumped the gun. Um, so I'm, I can make an entirely different video about that. And I would like to soon. 
Um, also, I apologize if the camera's wobbly. You guys are literally sitting on a pile of laundry. So, um, there's that. Um, so yeah, I've basically been struggling for a long time to make rent consistently. Um, or every time I would pay rent, I'd be like, fuck, like, again? <laughs> again? I don't want to feel like that anymore. I feel like I could do a lot better. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to creating a financial plan for myself that makes sense. And I know that shit is not going to be easy. There's a lot of sacrifices that I'm going to have to make. You know, one of them being not living under my parents' roof. One of them being, you know, not going out as much, which I never really did before. But when you have a partner, you go out, you end up spending more money than you think you're going to spend. Um, and even just like the little dates, like they add up. So I don't know. I'm manifesting more money. My partner's manifesting more money, steady income, all of that. So I'm just... I'm ready for a change and um, this is the right decision for me right now. So there's that. Um, what else? As far as like bigger updates go, like that's pretty much it. Um, I am still working on my project, still writing. I've been going through like my songs and um, revising some of the lyrics, going through some chord progression, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. But I'm really hoping that I can use these like two weeks off from my job to be able to record the songs. Excuse me. I swear. I think I burp in like every single video and I'm so sorry. It's like kind of gross. It just happened again. Okay. Anyways. Um... Oh... Yeah, so I hit up one of my friends um, about uh, working on this project together. He said he was down. So um, I've never really collaborated with another person on my songs like that. So we will see how it goes um, and if we're a good fit. Um, otherwise, I kind of just need to get my producing chops back together heighten those, you know, learn Ableton, because so far I've only been mixing and producing on Pro Tools, which producing on Pro Tools is like, not it. It's not fun. It's um, not made for producing. Fantastic for recording and for mixing and mastering. Like, that is what that is made for. for but for producing and for composing like you want Ableton or Logic something like that but uh yeah so my process for producing things has been long so far and I feel like once I learn Ableton it'll be just so much easier to have that be a smoother process for me so kind of just have to buckle up buckle down I don't know the word I'm going for but um hunker down. Maybe that's the word I was looking for. Um, kind of just have to suck it up and do it. <laughs> kind of just have to do it. Um, even with like the years of experience I have on like DAWs, digital audio workstations, like learning a new one is still overwhelming. Um, so I don't know. I kind of been procrastinating because of that, so that's not fun. But uh, it's time. It's time to be different, you know? It's time to allow myself to tap into what needs to be tapped into. Um, but yeah, other random floating thoughts that I have. Um, I really want a new camera like I want a new camera so that I could vlog out and about because I do have ideas for videos to make um, but shooting on my 
iPhone is like not cute. It's not good. It's all wobbly. Like it'd be different if there was like internal stabilization, if it was like great quality, but it's not. Um, Cause I have the iPhone 10s, I think that's what this is. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get a vlog camera. I just literally picked my nose. Amazing. I'm trying to get a new vlog camera and um, uh, I need to take baby steps first though because the vlog camera is like $700 and I do not have $700 as you can tell by me moving out. <laughs> so um, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I guess this is the end of the video. Um, it's 2 o'clock now at 3.20. I have to watch Spider-Man with my family. Thank God I didn't see any fucking spoilers. People be spoiling all day, every day on Twitter. I literally muted the words Spider-Man, Spider-Man, muted it. I didn't want to see it. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to finally see it. I just watched the first two last week. Um, I got my booster shot, by the way, did get my booster. I'm a boosted baddie. Um, sorry, I keep on looking at the time because this video is running kind of long, but, um, yeah, I got boosted. And I watched Spider-Man, and, um, what else? This is why editing is important, because I'm all over the place. Um, but yeah, dude, that booster shot was, like, interesting, because I had Pfizer, um, at the beginning of the year, and then for my booster, I decided to get the Moderna, because there was, like, news going around that you're more protected underneath Moderna. So, um, decided to get a little COVID booster cocktail. Um, and I was fine for legitimately over 24 hours after my booster. And then out of nowhere, I just started feeling so drained, so weak. And my body was like sore. I was like, now right now like your time was up you should have did this yesterday <laughs> so that was annoying but it only lasted for like five hours then I ate a chicken bake and some Tylenol and I was perfectly fine after that so it wasn't that big of a deal um and it's better than getting COVID and having um, a horrible time having COVID because you can still get COVID when you have your booster, but you're just less likely to be hospitalized and die. And um, that sounds worth it to me. Um, so get boosted or if you haven't gotten vaccinated yet, get vaccinated. Um, but yeah, this is, I'm, I feel like this is probably the last video you're going to see in this environment. I'm going to be back in my old childhood room. I'm going to repaint that shit because I don't need the old energy in there. So I'm going to repaint the room. I'm excited to show you guys whenever that happens. And yeah, um, I hope that you guys are taking good care of yourself. I hope that you're having an amazing start to your new year um, or, you know, that you end this year feeling warm, joyful, grateful, um, you know, you deserve it. So I hope that, yeah, I hope that everything's good. Um, let me know in the comments below what you're grateful for. And, um, yeah, hopefully I'll get that vlog uploaded soonsies. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.